Hi, my name is Sam Bowen, and today I'll be talking about Twiggy the Water Skiing Squirrel. In 1978, Luann and Chuck Bess adopted a baby squirrel after it fell out of its nest in Sanford, Florida. The two had bought a remote control boat for their daughter at the time, but Chuck was the one playing around with it more than she was and was teased about it. In response, Chuck said he was teaching his squirrel to water ski. He then actually tested it inside of his home bathtub and the rest is history. During Twiggy's performances, Chuck or Lou will strap an orange life jacket onto him. Then they will place Twiggy on a tiny pair of skis and Twiggy will put his paws on a metal bar. That metal bar is attached to the boat through a rope and that Lou Ann will control the boat with a remote. Twiggy is asked to perform at a variety of events, but his most popular is during boat shows at county fairs or dealerships. In 1979, his first boat show was in Palm Beach, Florida. The owner of the boat show booked Twiggy and told Chuck and Lou Ann Best that if this works well, I'm taking you to Louisville to my other show. It clearly worked and the Best sold their roller rink back at home and went on the road with Twiggy in an RV from show to show. Twiggy is now an international celebrity and has appeared in 11 movies, music, music videos, and talk shows. Twiggy has his own room at home, carpeted in mulch and furnished with oak branches. He has food in his room, but prefers to eat at the dining table where he can snitch off people's plates. In 1997, on a family boating trip, unfortunately Chuck drowned. He tried rescuing his stepfather from the water before sinking underneath the surface and having a heart attack. Lou Ann said, my son, who was 16, had to pull his dad out of the river. Lou Ann felt empty after Chuck died. She quit and didn't think she could deal with Twiggy and traveling anymore. She was no longer having fun. Lou Ann then came up with the idea to continue bringing Twiggy around on the road, but for the sole purpose of sending a message of water safety to all people, but mainly kids because they were so intrigued in watching Twiggy's performance. Twiggy is now the spokes animal for the National Boating Safety Council's Wear It campaign. Chuck Bess was the first to teach Twiggy. He had a background of training miniature ponies, French poodles, a toad, and an armadillo to water ski, but Twiggy was the most popular attraction. Since squirrels don't live very long, there has been six different Twiggies throughout generations. Luann trains different squirrels so that when Twiggy dies, another is ready. It takes about four months for a squirrel to perform the job of water skiing. Some can take up to two months. They are trained similar to how pet dogs are trained with a lot of repetition and affection. They have very short attention spans and can only be taught around 10 minutes at a time. According to the bests, they are spoiled and pampered like pet dogs. Here is Twiggy in action. Well, thousands of people are expected to attend the Toronto International Boat Show this weekend, and marine enthusiasts are pretty excited. From million-dollar vessels to the latest in nautical gadgets, there is a lot to take in. But as CTV's Cod Lightfoot reports, the star of the show may end up being a rather common rodent with an impressive talent. There are a lot of big things at the Toronto Boat Show, but everyone's talking about one of the smallest. That was cool. It's pretty cool, honestly. It's not this remote control boat, rather what's behind it. Twiggy is, is very unusual. Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel, has been entertaining people since 1979. Luann Bast and her husband rescued a squirrel after a storm. He decided to teach it to water ski with a toy boat. Her first reaction? <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> 36 years and nine squirrels later, they've done thousands of shows all over the world. How about that? <laughs> that squirrel can water ski. Like Lassie, there's been more than one Twiggy, and they've appeared in everything from movies to music videos. I would say they're like cats. They're just like cats. Um, just they, 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 when they want attention, they want it. If they don't want attention, they're going to run off. Raised by hand, the squirrels are very people friendly. They're also quite comfortable on the water. The best say some squirrels take to water skiing quite naturally. There's definitely an entertainment aspect to this show, but there's also an educational angle as well. They teach kids about water safety. It's a lesson that means a lot to Twiggy's human family. Drowning people fight you. They do whatever they can to get above the water and get air. 
And so my husband ended up through the tragedy with cold water, you know, not coming home. In 1997, Luann's husband drowned while trying to rescue a family member who didn't know how to swim. After that, she outfitted the squirrels with life jackets and now uses the act to help kids learn how to be safe in the water while also making people smile. I love to see the people's faces and I just feel like I'm making a difference in the world. Scott Lightfoot, CTV News. Some claim that Twiggy, it is cruel for Twiggy to be trained and used for entertainment. During one of his bookings for a show in Vancouver, Canada, he had to cancel due to bylaws. From the Toronto mayor, John Tory, during the Friday morning news conference, he claimed, people decided years ago in the city government, and I think with the support of the population that we weren't going to allow animals like squirrels to be taken in by people. They are wild animals. Well, after an investigation, it was decided that since he is an Eastern gray squirrel, he is not considered wildlife, wildlife but he was not allowed to entertain. From the perspective of side A, Twiggy is treated better than the average squirrel. He never has to worry about his next meal, has his own room and is spoiled by his owners, where wildlife squirrels are being hunted by foxes and anxious about food. Another argument is that four of the six Twiggies were given by to the bests by the Humane Society. From perspective side B, Twiggy was put into this role by human and didn't have a decision on being a wildlife squirrel or Twiggy. He cannot live a regular squirrel's life, learning survival strategies and being with other squirrel friends. Luann Best told the Virginian pilot in an interview that he is loved a lot and he is very affectionate and will well taken care of. I would like you to walk away from this my presentation knowing that squirrels are very trainable like dogs with lots of repetition and affection. That Twiggy is more than a style of entertainment and he is used his, he, he has used his global presence to deliver the message that water safety is extremely important. And finally, he is considered a working animal but does not perform any manual labor. That animals can be just as effective in the entertainment industry. Thank you, and here are my sources.